Alright guys, today I'm going to do a bit of a different video. Um, we're going to do a sort of a quick demonstration of a new Trojan that's been going around via email. And as you can see, we have another monitor here. And we're going to be monitoring, get it, uh, network traffic. We're going to be trying to find out what this malware is trying to connect to, where it's downloading from, what it's trying to do. And to accomplish this, we have two PCs. Of course, we have the malware laptop. Then we've got a second computer running Wireshark. And we're able to pick up the network traffic because both of these are hooked up to a hub, which is then hooked up to a switch and then to a router. And the nice thing about hubs is that although they're slow, they forward every single frame that goes into it out, every single port. So you're able to monitor very, very easily. So let me go ahead and open the example email. This is what somebody would receive, and you would probably prefer watching this in HD. Might be able to read some of this. And it's an email claiming to be from FedEx, from a manager, Daniel Walton, saying, Dear client, your parcel has arrived at February 20. Courier was then able to deliver the parcel to you at 20 February 6.33 p.m. To receive your parcel, please print this receipt and go to the nearest office. Best regards, the FedEx team. Okay, so we'll go ahead and print receipt. Oh, Is it not going to let us download? Come on. you got to be kidding me. Well, that doesn't matter because I have the file. And you download a postal receipt.exe file. .exe. And it has the Word icon. I've seen this also with the uh, Adobe PDF icon. And so you run this. And the executable is deleted, and now we have a text file saying recipient, Mark Smith, Los Angeles, not delivered, standard shipping, insurance, yes. So this is supposed to be your parcel receipt. And now, let's see if we can see anything running. Well, we've got quite a few connections going on over there. Much more than there were a minute ago. See if we can find an a uh, offending process. It is getting something over there on the right. While we're waiting, you know, might as well. Look at all of those uh TCP connections. It is downloading something over there. I just know it. That's enough of that. Go ahead and close it. And now we look on the bottom and see a little shield icon. Now what could that be? Well, let's try to open the web browser. Uh-oh. Security Defender Firewall Alert. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the camera angle here. As I was saying, now we have this security defender firewall alert going on. Uh-oh. It's going down now. It's telling me to activate or stay unprotected. We'll go ahead and stay unprotected for now. Obviously, we're not seeing anything pop up. Solitaire is infected. Ooh, we'll activate. Whoa. Okay, so now we are getting somewhere purchase later. So I guess this is a new rogue called Security Defender. Um, I'm not sure if I made a video about this earlier. I think it's similar to that Win Server Defender that I reviewed, but I could be wrong. Anyway, here it is. We got all caps on here. We got Start Scan, Update Now. Uh, this is all very basic stuff. They've been following this uh, scheme for many, many years. The same layout all the time. 
no other languages. Uh, if we try to activate purchase full version, we are taken to a payment page asking for eighty nine ninety five this time, and it's a review from Internet Magazine saying in terms of worms and spyware, but also Trojan security defender can hardly be beaten. That's fantastic. Okay, so we tried to add uh, premium support 24-7 and it's breaking the page. So we can either have a six-month license or a one-year. It's not even a lifetime for this. That's ridiculous. And right now Wireshark is blowing up. I know you can see it a little bit on the right, but there is quite a bit of traffic going on right now. Anyway... Go back, close. Let's see, uh, what else? Well, obviously, Internet Explorer is blocked. And Solitaire is blocked. And Task Manager for sure is blocked. Okay, so we can't run anything. We can't open Internet Explorer. We have something called System Security Alert telling us to block not a virus adware win32.whi. What are we going to do? Well, I haven't really done this before and kind of feel bad for saying it, but you'll have to check in next time when we try to remove this. Yeah, that's pretty awful, but next video I'm going to try out a new well, sort of a new method of removing different types of malware called Windows Defender Offline. So, we'll check in later. I promise within a week. I hope.